Alright guys, welcome back to your 38th C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be beginning to talk about something called pointers. Now, pointers is something that confuses a lot of people, so I'm going to try to explain it really simple for you guys. Now, you remember how we made some variables that contain strings of text, and we made some variables that contain integers, and we made some variables that contained floats. Well, a pointer is a special type of variable that contains a memory address as their value. Pretty weird, huh? So let's go ahead and uh, the first thing we need is a plain old integer variable. So let's go ahead and make a variable called fish and set it equal to the value of 5. It doesn't really matter what, what the value is, to be honest. So anyways, we have a plain old variable named fish. Now let, let me go ahead and show you guys how to retrieve the memory address of this variable. So as you probably already know, this variable called fish is stored somewhere on our computer, somewhere in the memory, you know, who knows where. So sometimes we need to be able to access where indeed that memory is. So in order to do that, you go ahead and you write the AND sign and the AND sign is called the address operator and now whatever variable you type after it this means the address in your memory of a fish so if you go ahead and print this out on the screen using C out and might as well end that line hello can't type end line today and L there we go and we go ahead and build and run this we see that we get this weird hexadecimal who knows what this is this is actually the memory address of where the variable fish is. So again, like I said, the first thing we need to find the address of something is of course a variable because we need to find the address of something. And in order to find the memory address of the variable, you go ahead and you write the and sign right before the variable. And then those two combine pretty much tell your C++ compiler, all right, I want to print out the memory address of fish, not the variable fish itself. So this is of course the address of where your variable fish lives. Now you're saying, all right, well, you just went over address operators. I thought you were gonna go over something called pointers. Well, let's get into that right now. A pointer, like I said, is a special type of variable that points to a memory address. In other words, um, a pointer is a variable that contains a memory address as a value. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to make a pointer. In order to make a pointer, go ahead and write the type of data you're going to be pointing to. So we're going to make a pointer that points to an int value, or in other words, an int variable. So this is going to be an int pointer. Simple enough. Now, in order to tell uh, C++ we're making a pointer instead of just another variable, we need to add an asterisk, that little uh, star above the 8 on your keyboard. And now we can go ahead and name a variable like fish pointer and this tells our compiler that we're going to be making a pointer instead of a regular variable again if we just had it like that uh, our compiler would think that we're just making a regular variable but we're not we're making a pointer so that's why we needed that little asterisk before fish pointer so we went ahead and we declared a fish pointer right here We're pretty much telling our program we're going to be making a pointer called fish pointer and what this fish pointer is going to do is it's going to point to a memory address so now we have to of course assign it a memory address so let's go ahead and whenever you assign a memory address to a pointer you don't need to include the star again because you only do that whenever you're first creating the variable from now on whenever you use the variable fish pointer C++ already knows that it's a pointer because you told it whenever you created the variable. So make sure you don't put star fish pointer twice, only one time. C++ is smart enough to recognize this. Now go ahead and set it equal to the memory address of a variable. And we only got one variable fish. So now fish pointer is equal to the memory address of fish. It isn't equal to five. It isn't equal to the word fish. Fish pointer is equal to the memory address of where the variable fish lives that long hexadecimal thing so now when we go ahead and see out print fish pointer and go ahead and then that line now these two lines should be identical because first we're printing out the memory address of fish and next we just are basically printing out the memory address of fish so let's go ahead and make sure these lines are the same so I don't look like a fool and see there we go. 
So basically, we know how to print out the memory address of a variable using the memory address operator. That's a pretty nice name for it. So then, I taught you guys how to create a pointer, and all a pointer was was a special type of variable that had a memory address as its value. So again, whenever we ran this, we can't assign this to an int because it's not an integer. We can't assign it to a float because it's obviously not a float. So we have to assign it to a special type of variable called a pointer. So that's why you need to be able to use pointers. And of course, when we just printed it out, it printed it out the memory address. Pretty cool, huh? So that is your basics of what a pointer is, how they're created, and how you obtain the memory address of a variable. So now with all that knowledge, we can begin programming and we're actually going to use these pointers and programs and they're actually useful for something, believe it or, believe it or not. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand everything in this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't forget to check out my website, thenewboston.com and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.